Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to create uh, this uh, prototype uh, in Figma. Now the source file is going to be available for free in the link in the description. I also want to remind you before you get started that I just released uh, a free UI UX design course which uh, you can see on the link in the description where basically I'm sharing all my eight years of experience on how to get started in the best way as well as uh, extra and free source files from these uh, YouTube videos. Now without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're now in the Figma project. And by the way, you can download this source file for free in the link in the description. And uh, let's uh, go ahead uh, and uh, let's uh, start using the prototyping features. So in order to access them, uh, you need to click on uh, this uh, tab right here next to design. And uh, as you can see, now once we hover over the frames, for example, we can see that we have uh, this element right here, which we can simply click and uh, drag around in the other frames. And this is going to create the connections in order for us to do the prototyping. So as you can see, we have a slightly different and on the right, we're going to have all of the options for creating the different type of interactions and also overflow behaviors, which we're going to see in just a moment. Now, in order to actually go ahead and uh, start seeing the prototype, uh, you have to click on this play button right here. As you can see, we can access our prototype. Now, some cool features uh, which uh, you might want to be aware of uh, is, uh, for example, once you click on uh, the frame and then on show prototype settings, you can see that uh, over here we can uh, essentially select uh, the different uh, options such as the device. So we're going to have uh, an iPhone if we go back into the uh, play version. So obviously you need to find one which is going to fit uh, your um, cam your frame perfectly. You can also change the background. So for example, if you want a white background in the prototype, you can do that uh, very easily. You can also adjust the starting frame since uh, by default, uh, the very first frame is going to be the starting one but you can select any of the frames uh, right here. So for example, if I select uh, the fourth one, I can simply click on play and the fourth one is going to be the default. And a quick uh, shortcut is simply dragging around this icon in order to change the starting frame. So yeah, just uh, something to keep in mind. Now let's uh, go and let's start actually doing the, the prototyping. So as you can see, we created this uh, very first interaction. I'm going to delete it. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to link uh, this button to go to the next page instead. So we're going to essentially create this uh, link right away. And we're also going to change uh, the uh, animation. So we're going to go in and select uh, push. And as you can see, we have uh, different uh, options available. We can push it from uh, top left, to bar bottom and so on. And you can see the preview of the animation right here. So this is going to be uh, really, really useful. So let's go ahead and let's see what actually that looks like. So as you can see, if I click on get started, boom, I go to the very next uh, screen directly from here. So let's do the same also for this button right here. We're going to uh, link it to the very next screen. We're going to have a push animation. And uh, let's do also the same for this one right here. And as we click on play, and uh, let's actually go back to the very first one. So you can simply go, go back over here by clicking the R button. So it's going to bring to the very first one. So as you can see, get started, continue. And boom, we are on the very last uh, frame. So that's a pretty easy way to create uh, quick animations. But now we're going to go one step further. And before we do that, we're actually going to change the background of the prototype just so that it stands out a little bit more. And uh, one more thing that I want to show you is uh, how you can actually create uh, different type of interactions. So, of, or actually micro interactions. So as you can see over here, if we say something around the lines of, uh, hey Figma, I want to connect this button to this other one so that uh, when I hover over it, uh, I'm going to see a different version of that button. Now you can easily do that uh, by simply making this uh, a frame. So as you can see, frame selection, and then I go back over here 
and I link it. And uh, now we're going to explore these uh, elements right here. So we're going to use while hovering. And uh, now what we're going to say to Figma is that, hey, while I'm hovering over this button, I wanted to open an overlay. And uh, now we have the options of the overlay opened and I want it to be manual. Now what manual, basically it's uh, going to enable you to change uh, the, uh, the setting manually. So I'm just going to do it one more time since it didn't uh, uh, <laughs> fully got that. So open overlay and as, as you can see, we have manual and the manual is going to overlay uh, manually wherever you put uh, this, uh, this overlay. So once I click on the play button and I go back to the first one, nothing should happen because I haven't changed the color of the button yet. But if I do so, let's do it like that. Play again. As you can see, now I have this uh, nice over effect, uh, which uh, is essentially going to give me a, a quick over and uh, just a, a very small, you know, uh, animation, which uh, you can easily tweak uh, afterwards. So let's use the prototyping again. Let's select this, uh, uh, this effect. And uh, let's say, for example, that uh, I want the animation not to be instant, but I want it to have a dissolve. So this is essentially going to give us a nice uh, smooth effect uh, when it comes uh, to this uh, micro animation. So this is just a, a small hack uh, which I use uh, from, uh, from time to time. Obviously, you will need to adapt uh, and create uh, an additional hotspot and uh, just be you know, mindful of uh, how you're using it. But uh, I just wanted to share this, uh, this quick hack, which uh, I use from time to time when it comes to prototyping. Now, I want to also show you the smart animation uh, features uh, over here. So let's duplicate the screen uh, twice. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring uh, this card over here. In order to access the smart animate, uh, you simply have to select uh, the very first one. Actually, I think I linked like the very complex uh, illustration in behind. So be sure that you link uh, the first screen with uh, the other screen. And then what uh, you're going to select over here in the animation panel is Smart Animate. And if you go back on the play button, of course, we need to tell it that it's uh, while hovering. You can see that now we can create like these very cool effects uh, and uh, essentially bring uh, our prototypes uh, to the next level when it comes to animations and uh, things of that nature. What we're going to do is we're going to actually have a look at the scrolling behavior since uh, this can be really useful inside of Figma. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to duplicate this uh, group and uh, bring it over here on the right so we can create uh, a horizontal scrolling behavior. Now, in order for this to work, uh, we actually have to select both groups, uh, group them all together, and we need to create a frame selection of this group. We're going to see why in just a minute. So let's go over here on the prototyping and uh, let's uh, select with uh, uh, this frame selected the horizontal scrolling. And as you can see, if we go back uh, over here, we can now scroll, but the issue is that it's not going to go all the way to the right. So in order to solve this, uh, we simply have to use a command key and uh, just bring this uh, to the part of the section where we want uh, the scrolling to behave. And as you can see, now it's working uh, totally fine. So an another thing when it comes to this uh, uh, specific uh, part of the flow is that if you don't want uh, to see the protruding elements, you simply have to click on the frame itself, click on clip content, and then you're only going to see the portion which uh, is actually visible. So I hope this uh, quick uh, prototyping Figma video tutorial was helpful. And I want to remind you that on my YouTube channel, I have over 400 videos sharing my over eight years of experience working as a UI UX designer, both software tutorials and also freelancing and job and career advice. So I'll see you in the next video.